I guess first things first, Andrew, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you've been up to since uh, you've left Fort Wayne and really started to pursue this tennis career? Yeah, of course. Um, I went down to uh, Tampa, Florida when I was 15. Um, the whole goal behind that was to um, go to Saddlebrook Tennis Academy just to uh, elevate my skills. Um, and just because um, Fort Wayne just didn't really, I didn't really have access to the kind of training I was looking forward to um, move forward with my game. Um, so went down there. Um, it was a great experience and I got to hit with a lot of pros. Um, I hit with Hubert Hercotch, who's uh, now number 10 in the world. Um, and then Milos Raonic, uh, I think he's about number 20. Um, so that was a really awesome experience. Um, but it didn't really go as planned, obviously, with COVID. Um, COVID kind of wrecked, like, a lot of things. Um, so I, I ended up moving um, to Indiana, but not really in Fort Wayne. And I moved with my grandparents um, to start training with uh, my trainer, Manny, um, at Basic Training and um, the Smiths. Um, it's an academy here in town. Um, and that is uh, – it's, it's been really great to um, be a part of that, and it's uh, helped me move forward with my training. Um, so, yeah. Right on. Well, it seems kind of like uh, all roads lead home, right? You go to Florida, yeah. for you come back home. Now you're going to be pl uh, playing tennis for Indiana back in, back in your home state. Um, why was Indiana the right choice for you? Yeah, so there's, there's a lot of reasons for that. Um, one being the coaches were just super supportive. Um, I just think they're really great guys. Um, they, they were a super big part in um, my commitment and now my signing. Um, also the Kelly school business is, um, was pretty attractive to me. Um, I'm going to look to major in finance. So, um, it was, a it was a good, um, thing to have with IU. And then, um, the, I love the team. Um, a lot of guys that I have played with in Indiana, um, are going to IU to play tennis. So I just wanted to be a part of that. Um, I really like the team and obviously, um, I wanted a big school. Um, I used it obviously really big and it's, a uh, in state as well so it was just all around perfect i couldn't ask for a better school so i love that i love that um two-part question here first off do yeah. you remember the do you remember what age it was when you start when you picked up a racket for the first time andrew um i believe i was maybe like five um but i really started to like get formal lessons around the age of probably 13 um which is pretty late compared to a lot of people um but Obviously, um, I mean, the training that I've gotten between like 13 and now has been um, just fine. And it's 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 been great. So I can improve how I want to. So, Well, and the second part of that is, you know, whether it was five when you first picked up a racket or it was 13 when you really started taking it seriously. It's been a little bit of time that, you know, this has probably yeah. been a goal of yours that you wanted to go on. Not only not only get help with your education, but also to be able to continue this uh, tennis career. So. What was a day like today like for you, man, when you're putting the pen to paper and dreams are becoming reality? It's um, just super special. Um, you know, I've, I have a lot of people um, like my family and um, some friends and obviously my coaches that have believed um, in me from day one. And it just feels really special to um, kind of obviously, like you said, put the pen to paper and to solidify my dream. Um, when I was a freshman, I believe in high school, I um, had this dream that I would play division one tennis one day. And it's just awesome that I could uh, make this be a reality. So. I love that. You know, I went back and watched the live stream. It seemed like a bunch of people were there, friends, family, coaches, yeah. and of support. So, I mean, like, what does that all mean to you that uh, you've had so many people in your corner through this whole process to get you here? Yeah, it's just awesome. Um, I mean, the amount of people that I've had um, that have helped me is just, just really special. I, I couldn't have uh, asked for um, a better support group. Um, right now, it's just amazing. I've had a lot of previous coaches that have been super important in my life. Um, you know, they come and go, but uh, they're all a really, uh, spe they have a special place in my heart because um, they just, um, you know, they've, they've each taught me like little things um, and it just kind of like compounds into like my skills as a whole. Um, so that's, that's kind of, um, that's the coaches. Uh, part of it but my friends they've always supported me um you know i have one of my good friends um his name's also andrew um his family uh they always took me to games and stuff um to iu football games and it kind of just ignited this uh passion for iu and to um kind of just open um up my mind to um, what iu has to offer so it's just really special that i can just make it uh, happen not only for myself but um all the people that support me so 
I love that. Great answer. Um, when do you head down officially? Yeah, so I plan on going to IU um, this summer um, to train, and I'm, I'm looking to take some uh, Kelly School business classes then. Um, but our season starts, um, or it doesn't really officially start until um, the spring, but we have a lot of matches, like obviously like when school starts, um, and a lot of guys will come back then. But I look to uh, um, train at IU in the summer. So um, I also plan to uh, graduate a little bit early. Um, I'm online this year, so... Um, it's, it's really awesome to um, get that flexibility aspect um, to my classes. So uh, I can just work at my own pace and I plan, I'm plan on uh, finishing pretty early here. So um, it's just really awesome that I could get to do that. So it is, man. You're killing the game both in the classroom and out of the classroom. Congratulations. Yeah. Um, yeah, thanks. Absolutely. And um, so your Kelly School business, is there anything specifically that you're targeting or are you just focusing on like just business right now, just so I can give them an update? Um, I'm planning on trying to do finance. Um, but I, I really do like entrepreneurship, um, as a kind of a career. So I plan to maybe pursue that. Um, but also, um, I plan on minoring in graphic design. Um, I've been doing a lot of, a lot of stuff, um, in that field. Um, so I'm trying to, um, start a, a mini, mini business with that, um, kind of like social media business with, uh, my, um, graphic design skills. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to kind of pull that all together into my um, college classes. So, uh, 